In today's video, I will be showing you how to decide the length of your paper strip for your quilling projects. Watch the video completely so you don't miss some valuable points somewhere in the middle of the video. This is Agnes and let's jump into the topic. The basic idea is for smaller size coil go for lesser length strip and for larger size coil go for longer length strips. But there is even more to know. When you buy a quilling paper strip, you could note few things. The number of strips in a pack, maybe like 100 strips or 50 strips. The length of a strip, the width of a strip like 3 mm. The next important thing that is usually not mentioned in the packs is the thickness or weight of paper strips. Weight of paper strip is noted by GSM, which is gram per square meter. In US, it is usually given in LBs. Based on the paper's thickness, the length of paper required will change. If you would like to know more about GSM, check this video link. Personally, to make the understanding simpler, what I do is choosing lengths like full strip, half strip, quarter strip or even other ranges as I require for that particular project. You can note that with the length of the paper strip used, the size of the tight coil differs. The two important factors that affect the length of strip you need are length of paper strip in the pack and the thickness of paper strips. First, let us talk about the length of paper strip in the pack. Different brands may have different length of strips and sometimes the same brand have different length of strips due to different manufacturing reasons. Here these strips are almost 17 inches long and these strips are 14 inches long. Full strip made of these two will be different sizes. But here both the coils have the same size. This is due to the difference in thickness of the paper strips. I will talk about it in detail in some time. Now when I roll a full strip and make a loose coil, I put it into a quilling board or a circle sizer. These circle scale are available in different sizes and are inexpensive and easily available. Let us see how the length of paper strip work on loose coils. I'm using a full strip to make loose coils on different size circles. When we see the first loose coil, as the circle is smaller, the paper layers are more crowded towards the border. As we go up the size, the crowding towards the borders is reducing. The centermost one have paper layers spread out in uniform distance but with little crowding along the border. The last coil has every single layer of paper spread out evenly and no crowding in the border. When we make shapes with these coils, for example a teardrop shape, we can see the crowding clearly in the first two shapes. The last one have even layers throughout the shape, but others show uneven or crowded layers. But still it is okay to use any of these in your projects unless you are more specific in perfection. For our next analysis, I will use a single size circle with different lengths of paper. The, the first loose coil is with full strip. The next one is with 3 fourth of the strip. The other one is with half strip. And the last one is with quarter strip. I have done it in same size circle in two different sizes. Let's compare it. When we see the 20 size circles, the first full strip is too long for this size, so the borders are crowded. When seeing the 3 fourth length of strip, it fits just right with equal spacing in the paper layers. Oil made with half strip fits but you can see more distance towards the border of the coil. This happens when the circle is little bigger than the coil size. The last one made with quarter strip couldn't expand as the strip is too short for the circle size. Similarly, when we see the next row made with 15 size circles, the full strip show more crowded towards a border. 3 4 strip is also a little crowded. Half strip is almost right and the quarter strip is too small. When we make shapes with them, all the shapes are similar in size but the finishing differs. You can choose any of these into your project based on what visually pleases you or based on the effect you feel to go well with the type of project that you are doing. 
so when you make a flower with bigger size circle you will get a bigger sized flower and when you make a flower with smaller size circle and shorter length of paper strip then the flower will be smaller now let us see the second factor thickness of paper paper also act differently based on the thickness thickness can change between brands thickness can change between different color papers of the same brand it is normal as not every color paper is available in the same thickness when brands try to include more color ranges this does happens we can say like the strips usually come between 80 to 100 gsm so a 80 gsm thick paper makes a smaller tight coil than a tight coil made from 100 gsm thick paper we can use this property to our benefit when doing bigger projects try to use cardstock or thicker paper so the work is easier and covers larger areas fast here both these tight coils are made from a full length strip but because the thickness of one is more than the other the more thicker paper makes bigger coil now let's see how to decide length while working on on edge quilling or when using quilling patterns for straight lines take a long strip keep over the pattern or the outlines and roughly find the length cut excess paper and glue them in place for coils take a strip roughly tear at a certain length make a coil and find if it fits when it doesn't suit take a little longer or shorter paper roll a coil and find the right size some quilling patterns also come with a length guide for the papers things to remember while choosing length of strip there is no right or wrong way and of course there is no rule of thumb to decide the length it all comes with trial and error and keep practicing and you will get better every single time don't forget to subscribe and watch my other videos too